I wanted to tell this story about uh, this nightmare that I had about uh, the Great Pyramids of Egypt and um, the magnitude of this this nightmare. Some dreams, um, and of course someone's calling me. Fuck them. God damn it! I'm calling back. You know, some dreams you. Um, you can remember bits and pieces of some dreams you can't remember at all and then some dreams you can remember like they're real memories um like clear as day well that was one of these and um the dream is and it's one of those types of dreams where I'm a camera angle like I'm just floating around like witnessing things like a movie camera angle not like I'm actually physically there in body so the dream starts uh, and somebody found this this keyhole this really tiny keyhole like the size of a pencil big around on the pyramid um, that nobody ever noticed and they looked at it with a uh, Mag with a big magnifying glass and saw that it had like fine teeth in it uh, and were able to determine that it was a keyhole and somebody just coincidentally said that they had a key that they didn't know what they were that it was to that they found somewhere around the world so they got this key and they opened this or, or not open but they stuck it in the keyhole and this door opened like the like magically this big door opens on the front of the pyramid um and they shined lights into the darkness and light would not shine into the darkness inside the pyramid and um no matter so you could, but they were sticking their arms in the darkness like they could stick their arms in there so they could they knew that it was open space that they could go in but light wouldn't shine in there for some reason so what they decided to do is uh get a battalion together and everybody charge in there you know like a SWAT team like 60 guys um like all dressed up with like AR15s just like a just like a SWAT team uh so they charge in there the SWAT team and these really really horrific sounds are heard sound can come out just not light and um the sounds are the I, I wish that that I could share what the sounds sounded like they were absolutely horrific when the people went in there and nobody ever came out. So, um, this was just really, really awkward. And, uh, they didn't know what to do. And what they wound up doing later in the dream, wasn't much later, but I can't remember the in-between. Like, there was something that was in-between that I don't remember exactly. But, Later, they sent another bat battalion in there with better defense and better attack and more people. They sent, like, I don't know, maybe a hundred guys in there. Like, a lot of guys went running in there with better armor, better weapons. Um, and they went charging in there, and ag again, the horrific sounds. Nobody e ever came out, and at the end of it, after all that was said and done... There's probably like 45 seconds of like horrific sounds. And I couldn't, you know, you can only imagine what's happening to these guys in there. And after this, after the sound stopped, this really, really deep, like hellish voice uh, said something in like another language or said something I couldn't understand. Um, and everybody in the world, uh, started killing each other. Everyone in the world heard it, uh, this sound, um, this, this, it sounded like a, a, de a demon, like, um, 
just something that everybody heard. This really low-pitched male demonic voice said, uh, he, he said something like, uh, a twist accord McGotrin. It was like something like that. And uh, everybody just went crazy like they were possessed. Everybody became possessed. And everyone in the world just went into this. And then the whole rest of the dream was just this this turmoil everywhere. Like um, everyone was just possessed by demons and killing each other. And everyone was just killing each other. There was a, just for like another like two minutes, I was just ra seeing random shots of people killing each other in horrific ways before I woke up. Uh, and then I woke up like, why am I seeing this? Like, what does it all mean? It's like a really vivid memory and I don't know what any of it means. And it's like, you know, it something I couldn't, you know, it's one of those dreams I thought about all day and that it still comes to mind like here and there. So yeah, I just wanted to describe that nightmare. It's one of my most vivid nightmares.